everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Amy and I post new videos every week. Today's video is going to be like a throwback of sorts. We are going to be creating this full face right here using all of my old favorites, my OGs, things I loved like three or four years ago. Are they still as good as what I remember? Do I still love them? Do I want to bring them into my routine now? Let's talk all about it while we create this look right here. Um, spoiler alert, I really like how the look turned out. If you want to see how I created it and talking about old makeup favorites is up your alley, go ahead and like this video so I know you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I'm sorry, I'm shaking my foundation, but I'm really excited about this video. I'm very glad that someone suggested it. It makes me so happy. I don't think I would have ever like forced myself to do like my pre YouTube makeup um, as like all together. Like I've used some of these products, but not all together in a face of makeup. So the foundation I am using is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I have the shade LC1. This right here, my ride or die foundation. I absolutely have loved this foundation for so long, but I haven't worn it basically since I started my channel because I started, you know, focusing on other stuff. But wow, it has been so long since I've used this. Oh my gosh. I used to actually like pack this and take it to work and like put it on at work. Crazy. Like one time my manager was talking to me and I was like, mm hmm yeah, just drawing it on my face. And always the e.l.f. sponge. It's so pretty. It's so lightweight. I feel like it has like light to medium coverage. It is a little bit dark because you know drugstore foundations don't don't always have the best shade ranges. I'm gonna go back um, over my redness and a little bit on my nose. See if I can build it up a little bit. I, I don't even know if it builds up because I would just do one layer. I never even tried to build it up. <laughs> I don't even know if this foundation actually, I don't know if they sell it anymore. Like, I don't know if they left just certain retailers or if they just made it online only or what, but it was like disappearing and I was freaking out when it was disappearing. And I bought a bunch of them. I have like four of them or something. I still really like how this looks. Let's look at it up close. For sure, yeah, there's a cat hair on my nose, but other than that, <laughs> but it's really lightweight and I like it. I do think it is a little bit dark if you actually look at my neck, but it makes me look healthy because it is a little bit dark and I'm and I am so pale. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm not sick anymore, but that my vocal cords are like covered in gunk. Like I need them cleaned off because every once in a while I'm just like, <laughs> The concealer is the Flower Beauty Concealer. Now first, let me rewind for a second. I don't know if I ever have mentioned, I've mentioned my love for this foundation, but I don't know if I've ever like used it or really talked about it, but I love this foundation. But I know that I have, especially in the beginning of my channel, talked about the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. Again, this is a little bit, um, a little bit dark for me oh my gosh guys there's a red hawk red bellied hawk that lives in my like backyard yard area and he's literally on the tree branch so close to my house he's so big there he just flew away he, his wingspan is like five feet he's so big um but, but I let my cat out on the porch all the time and I'll hear him and I'll go out there and I'll like start clapping really loud and stuff to let him know like do not take my cat. I think this color works really well to go with this foundation, but this color is perfect for when I'm not wearing any foundation and I just want, you know, like to just go all over my face. Like this is probably my, would be my perfect foundation shade, if that makes sense. But they don't, I don't think they make a lighter one. This is L, L1-2. They might make a lighter one now. I don't know. I have so many that I stocked up. Uh, that I don't know if they sell it anymore. I haven't had to think about it. Look at it. Look at how pretty it is. It's, um, I would consider it 
it's not thin, but it's not thick, so it's in between. And it's creamy, but it's not too dewy. It's like quite a natural finish, but like, look at it. I love it, it's so pretty. Yeah, look at this face. Hold on, let me show you this. Look at this. Is this, I mean, it's like a medium coverage everyday situation. My whole face. But like, it's so good. It's like, oh, it, <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> Whoever recommended this, I don't remember. It was on Instagram. Um, I'm sorry that I don't remember because that was like six days ago now. Um, but I am so happy. <laughs> See how giddy and like, I love my makeup. I love it. Like all of it. All of it, not just the new stuff, all of it. Like, it's just, oh, so good. So this has like, oh gosh, it's almost reminding me of like, all together, like L'Oreal Pro Glow, but not as glowy. Like, it's still got that like, creamy plumpness to the skin, but it's a little bit more of a satin finish. You can really see the light over, your, I think my, maybe that's my ceiling light, I don't know, how it grabs the light or whatever, but it's not super overly dewy glowy it's a very nice everyday finish now i couldn't remember i know that i had a lot of loose powders i definitely used loose powder before that would be like my old fave um and i used to use them with my sponge <laughs> but i don't remember because i decluttered so many of my powders i don't think any of the ones that i have now are ones that I had back then, so I am just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury one. I was never like hugely into powder. I, gosh, I always wanted to find the best powder for me, but I never liked any of the powders that I tried. So it was always, you know, tough. So I'm gonna just throw in a little bit of this. I'm not the kind of girl you wanna take home. Uh what I'm done powdering let's move on so I have this which I have not dipped into in so long and it's this little magnetic palette where I broke my physician's formula palette so that I or compact so I could put it in here and then also I broke a LA girl one and I think this is either I think this is just playful of their blushes their little that that shape blush I think that once you have your physician's formula like when you first get it it is definitely like pina colada coconut kind of smell but I do feel like as it ages it smells kind of like pickles <laughs> I loaded this up so this is kind of the vibe yeah it's all right it's all right I love the formula because I do feel like it's like very easy to work with and it never like looks bad you know like that looks totally blended and you saw how little work that was but I do think it is a little maybe it's a little it's I'm it's a bronzer it's a very bronzery shade whereas I have leaned more into the very like contour -y or brontour situation. I feel like it looks pretty good. I think this is for me definitely more of a summer bronzer. Like it looks okay on this foundation because I am a little bit more deep than I normally am, you know? One thing I actually missed is I used to not put my bronzer on first. I used to put my highlight on first and that was the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And I would use <laughs> this giant brush right here. I love this highlight all over the face. Literally, I would just all over. And then, so I would get this all over, which by the way, hold on. <laughs> this color is a little dark for me to do that if I wear my normal pale foundations. But when I wear something like this, like I look bronzed and glowy, okay? This looks... I like how this finish looks, but like, look at that. And then I would take it, cause this is like pinched. I would take it like this and then really highlight. 
the highlight. And I would do that before bronzer and blush because it was like a finish, it's like a finishing powder for me. And I've never seen anyone else really do it. Kathleen Lights is the one that made me do it because she used to do it, but I've never seen other people do it. And when I've like recommended to other people to do it, like when they're like, oh, you know, what's your favorite product? What's a weird technique you use or whatever? This is always the thing that I would put in there. And then people, when they would do it, they'd be like, oh, I don't think, I don't think so. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> which I, I get it. Like looking at it, maybe it's a little much, but for someone who loves like dewy finishes, like I understand that it started here. You know, it started when I had more oily skin. So I would wear a lot of powders and everything like that. But I wanted to also look a little bit more glowy. So I did this. Actually, do you want to know what made me start using highlights and stuff in like finishing powder? Is, you guys ready for some mom trauma? <laughs> My mom makes me, what's it called? Like, um, she like financially abuses me. <laughs> Financial abuse. So when she finally goes, um, I am one of the people that get the majority of her money and that is the only way in the entire world that I'd ever be able to pay my student loans. <laughs> and so she threatens to take me out of her will a lot. Okay. And when she, she, there's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this, but I have to like give her a little bit of time and attention in order to stay in her good graces, if that makes sense. So I have to like, when it's a holiday, like Christmas, I have to see her on Christmas or else I'm out of the will. I have to see her on Thanksgiving, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so I used to have oily, very acne prone skin and I powdered a lot and I would use loose powder a lot and I would set my whole face with the sponge, almost like baking, like psh, psh, psh. but I never like overly put it on and then wiped it off. I would like just press it in until it was fully in there. And uh, one time we went to IHOP for, I think it was Mother's Day. While I'm talking about this, I'm gonna go ahead, where's my brush? And go into that LA Girl blush. But we went to IHOP and I was sitting where like the sun was facing me. And she was like, why do you look so white? Like talking about my powderiness. So then I was like, well, I clearly need a finishing powder because I can't look powdery. And that's how I found this technique. And just like, look how everything just blends on top of it. This is a matte blush and it just looks so nice. I I really do like this blush and this blush tone and but. I'm, I'm looking like very much, I feel like now my makeup is a little bit more like natural, blush heavy, bright eyed. And I used to go for like a bronze goddess situation, which that's what, that's what she's giving. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. What do you prefer? What do you do? What kind of makeup do you do? For the eyes. I did get rid of a, I'm going to open a water, hold on. I did get rid of a lot of my old, uh, like wet and wild palettes and stuff like that during my most recent declutter. So I didn't have a lot of older palettes, but then I was trying to think like before I had my YouTube channel, before all this, like what was I using? What was I really using every day? And you want to know what it was? ColourPop Singles these ColourPop singles to be specific, to be exact. Anyways, so, and I even like went through all my singles and these ones are definitely the ones that have the most dip. So we have Hear Me Out, which is just like a pale uh, brow bone kind of shade. Let me explain, which is a inner corner um, pale champagne shade. My favorite ColourPop single snake eyes which is like a taupey purpley shimmer made to last which is like a mauvey crease shade and then i brought out feathered just in case i wanted to deepen it up but that doesn't really 
where like Callum has them. So yeah, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. And I did not swatch the darkest shade. So I would take my NYX number 16 into, what are they called, made to last? Yes, made to last. And I'm going in very lightly and tapping it off into the crease she goes. This color has more pigment than this. I'm just starting slow. I did almost everything with this brush. I do have some other NYX brushes, but they're actually like super dirty. So they're in the bathroom waiting to be cleaned. But I'm going to try to do the most with, with this single brush. I'm going to do my alley glines move here, put the color on and pinch it and use the same brush for the lower. There's that basically. Let's go ahead and take some of the like cream shade up here. Ta -da. And then I'm going to take snake eyes on my finger. Love. Just like that and then take the brighter shade and just plop it. Oh, that was too much. In the corner and I'm gonna blend. Same brush, I'm just pinching it so that it fits in there. Blend that out a little bit. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Anyways, I'm gonna go, uh, what? I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And I did not dip into that deeper shade. I feel like this is exactly how I would have left it in the, all the time. I've never been, <laughs> I've never gone really deep, you know? I normally have to force myself to go deeper in, in tone, you know, like on the other corners and stuff. Let's pull these up, let's see how cute. How cute, my hair is greasy today. So I was like, let's let's make use of it and see what we can do. Um, but yeah, I definitely look like I, <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at an older version of myself in the face. It's very, it's very weird. It's very weird. Um, I do not have the mascara that I would have worn back then. I would have worn the Maybelline mascara, the yellow and purple one. I'll put a picture of it here on the screen. So today I'm gonna just use this e.l.f. one and I might layer it a little bit because the one that I would use was very voluminous one, voluminous. And I don't feel like this is very voluminous, but I'm still testing it out and it's brand new. So it might, you know, thicken up as it dries a little but we'll see okay and top lashes only for life let's do the brows now for my brows i rarely ever did anything at all with my brows i would just leave my face like this um but for today i'm gonna do a very light brow with the elf um ultra precise pencil which i did have and use i just rarely used it so instead of doing like a full situation I'm just gonna lightly, you know, fill in a little bit. Like even that already has like given me so much more of a brow. There we go, just a light, little easy brow, okay? Not going too far, not adding too much, not drawing outside of my actual brow hairs, just kind of uh, coloring the skin underneath my brow hair so you can actually see, see where they are. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing that I have, this has been a favorite for so long and I feel like ugh, like all of these items, I don't really pull out because I'm, I know how I feel about them because I lived with them, use them every day for such a long time. So it doesn't feel like I need to talk about them on my channel, if that makes sense. A lot of my channel is more in exploring things in my collection that I don't know, have an idea on or new items that I've never tried before and talking about those and reviewing those. So pulling out all of this makeup that is like old, tried and true, full face of like old favorites that I wore years ago. I All of this makeup is years old and I still think it looks really, really good. 
Uh, but that brings me to this lip gloss, which is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Celeste. I love, <clears throat> I love the Buxom Lip Gloss formula. This is what I want from anything that says plumping. I don't actually care if it plumps my lips. I just want it to feel like I'm chewing mint gum. Okay, that's what I want. <laughs> and that's what I feel like these do. Look at this. They're not even really glossy. They're almost like a cream formula. Because this one is filled with little sparkles, it gives a juicy appearance to the lips. I I think on camera it looks alright because all the lights are flashing back at it, but in person it's giving Y2K. It's got a little bit of a, a blue tint to my lips. I'm going to take ColourPop BFF, even though I didn't have this back then, and I wouldn't have lined my lips probably, and just give a little. Does that look a little? Yeah, I think it looks a little more sane. <laughs> with the, the the lip liner kind of grounding it. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let's zoom out and talk about it a little bit more. You can definitely you can definitely see now that I have zoomed out just how dark my face is compared to the rest of my body. And this is how I used to go about life. I went to work like this every day. I don't think that this is that far. This is just this is the lightest shade of all of this makeup. <laughs> This is the lightest shade that was available to me. And I don't feel like, I feel like all the undertones and everything are right. So I don't feel like it looks too off. It's just not, <laughs> look at my arms. <laughs> it's so interesting to me to think, like put myself in the mind of myself before. And my priorities were different than they are now. Like I definitely wanted to look bronzy. I wanted to have a completely matte face. I needed everything to be completely sat down, but I did like a glowy finish and I loved like an easy mauve everyday kind of cool toned eye look and a glossy lip, which I think a lot of those things still exist. Like I think that is still my aesthetic. Like those are still things that I love. Even though now I like pack on a lot of blush, I still like my bronzer to be very bronzery. You know, I still like to see the color on my face and I still love a glowy look, but now I prefer to get it from glowy foundations and skin tints and things like that. And I don't need things to be set down and be matte because I have dry skin, but I do think the overall effect that I want is about the same, which is very interesting to think about and compare based on something from like three years ago, three or four years ago is, is where this would be. But I am very happy with this makeup look and I'm very happy that I still have these things in my collection. Yeah, of course there are a couple things, maybe, you know, maybe I don't need this blush. It is very pretty, um, but I have a lot of uh, blushes that, that do a lot more for me. Maybe it's time for me to get rid of this Physicians Formula bronzer. Um, but I mean, I just dropped my tweezers, but <laughs> these are staying. I, I love it. I, I love it. My eye is watering, so I'm sorry if you can see the mascara just coming, coming down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I definitely can see that I'm too reflective. I can definitely see that, but I still like it. <laughs> Oh my god, were any of these things your favorites? Do you still use any of these things? Let me know. What is a product that you used to use like three or four years ago that you haven't touched in three or four years? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm very excited about this. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go because that is it. The video is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video like I did. <laughs> If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!